Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to apologize for the long gap between this video and my last one. I kind of just took some time off, but I'm back. Whoop, whoop. I'm back, and I'm back to talk to you about this, the Horizon S3 Pro panoramic camera. So hello, it is great to see you. Thank you for coming back to my channel after this time. So yes, the Horizon S3 Pro, a Russian made, it even says made in Russia on the bottom, a Russian made plastic with a very weighty metal interior swing lens camera. Now what do I mean by swing lens camera? Well, let me show you, ready? There you go. Now, if you saw that, if you were paying attention, you'll have noticed that the lens swings. So if I wind that on, you see it goes across. Let me put this and make it a little bit faster. There's a switch on the back to change your mode. I shall talk about that more in a second. And that's 1 25th of a second. So as you noticed, it swings across. So it's exposing a longer piece of film by sweeping across the entire plane across the back. So if I show you from the inside, one second, okay, all the way across. But it's not one second all the way across, it's one second per part of film. Just like that, that's it. It's a very simple to use camera. It's got a few other features. So in the top here, just in there is a bubble spirit level so that when you're looking through, you can actually see it in the shot. So just by lining it up there like that, there we go. It's now on a very flat or flatter plane. So as I take that shot, it skims across. If I lean it back a little bit, the horizon will rise and fall as it swings. Same as if you're looking down, it will bow. So if you're wanting a perfectly flat horizon, tripod, use the spirit levels and get it bang on. You get a little handle, a little grip, which I thought would be useless, but it turns out to be very useful. So push that in, screw it up like so. And now you hold it like this. What this does also stop you doing is getting your fingers in the edge of the shot. So now you're, you're kind of just doing that. But it's a lot easier to get on the level, like so, just there, uh, by holding it there, surprisingly. I don't know why. That's it in terms of features. It goes from 8 seconds up to 250th of a second and has an aperture of f2.8 to f16 it is infinity focus but there's like range focusing in it so obviously at f2.8 the foreground will blow out a little bit it's a very quirky very unique it's a lot cheaper than an x pan but it does have a fault that fault is if you are using cheap film such as foma pan which i love I like foam a pan, I love the look of it. It splits it, can you see? There you go. It splits it, it tears the film into pieces as it's trying to wind it through. Split there, I'll show you that, there you can see here. Same one. That one tears it to pieces, absolutely rips it up. A little bit there. Another one with a split in it, look at that. It's, 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 it's torn it right there, look. Um, yeah, so it does damage your film. I've been recommended that you use 
a higher quality film like Kodak, for example, which is ironic that it's Horizon, it's a cheap Russian camera, but you have to use expensive film. Who knew? I've yet to try it, but I've got a roll of um, Pro Image 100 to pull through. That's Kodak. It's, it's still cheap, but it's Kodak Pro Image. So I'm going to run that through and see if that works, but not in this video because my C41 chemicals have yet to arrive. But that's it. It's a bog standard um, camera with a quirky swing lens. <laughs> How much fun is that? So yeah, there you go. That's a short video, short little review. Uh, you'll have seen from the photos what it does. Um, yeah, that's it. I like my quirky cameras, which leads me on to next week or next video, should I say. The next video will also continue the quirky cameras with, we go from one extreme. We go from super wide to super narrow. We are having a half frame off, half frame off. The Canon Dial 35, that's the Mark 1, and the Olympus Pen EE, both half frames. Uh, this one's going to take a little longer because I'm struggling to take 72 shots. I think I'd struggle to take 72 shots at the best of times. But this, this one's winning. That'll do. Sorry for the gap. Good to be back. I will start doing more now that autumn's here. I promise. If you care. <laughs> Thank you as always for watching. If this is your first time here, please do click that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be notified as to when I upload. Did I say that right? As to when? Yeah, as to when I upload a new video. Do give it a little thumbs up, that always helps the videos, helps the channel, helps the algorithm, and the algorithm is a b True story. So, until next time people, take care, be good, see you soon.